We are set for Premiership Division action in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. My name is Graham Naismith and you are watching Corporate Soccer TV. This evening we have a match featuring the two teams at the bottom of the table in the Premiership Division. That being Sky United FC and the Keen FC. Taking a look here at how Sky United line up. They have been, quite frankly, horrible this season. They have yet to score a goal and have lost all four of their matches by large score lines. The Keen, they haven't been much better. They did pull off one victory, a 3-1 win over Capiteros, but apart from that, it's been tough sledding for them. In fact, they have not scored a goal in nearly a month. Two teams looking to snap. Lengthy goalish droughts as we're underway at Collège Notre-Dame. In Montreal, Quebec, our officials on the far, or excuse me, on the right of our screen, a multinational group as usual, including veteran Julius Ashu, who is working the lines. Sky United in their green kits attacking from left to right, the Keen FC in their white kits from right to left. Graham Naismith here with you on the commentaries. This ball is over the top. Sky United keeper off his line and ends up colliding with the Keen forward and we'll play it quickly. As we said, two teams occupying the bottom two slots on the table. Sky still looking for their first goal of the year. They've lost all four of their matches. They lost 3 nothing to Cafeteros in their first game of the season, a respectable score, but after that it got ugly. 11 nothing against LGQV. 10-0 against Penetrators, and 19-0 last week against FC Jazz. So it has been a tough season thus far for Sky United FC, but they're going up against some equal competition, I guess you could say, today. The Keen FC have also been struggling. Just one win of their five matches, as we said earlier, it came on July 10th against Cafeteros. It was a 3-1 victory, but since then... They've been on a three-match losing streak, losing 5-0 to FC Jazz, 2-0 to Penetrators FC, and then 4-0 last week to Stadium 5. And we're finally back to the action here as this ball is thrown in and controlled by the Keen FC. And a player takes a tumble and a foul is called. Looking at the Premiership Division table as it stands right now, as we said, these two teams at the bottom of the table, the Keen FC with three points, one point behind Stadium 5, who, as we said, beat them last week. And then Sky sitting at the bottom, yet to pick up a result this season. Looking up the table, Penetrators FC are in first place. As here's a ball put into the box, it's a good one! And it was a great opportunity there, really an opportunity missed, you'd have to say, for Sky United. It was a good ball into the box for someone to run onto, but it all came to naught. The Keen looking to build from the back. So Penetrators FC at the top of the table with a 4-0-1 record for 13 points. They're one point ahead of Jazz, who are 4-0. Of course, Penetrators have played one additional game over FC Jazz. Peaky Blinders sitting in third place, 3-1-0 with nine points. Again, one fewer games than most of their opposition. Cafeteros have enjoyed a nice start to the season as here comes the Keen FC bursting into the box. A low left-footed ball. The goalkeeper just gets there ahead of the on-rushing forward. Cafeteros with a 2-3 and three record, 6 points for them. So that's an encouraging start to the season for the side made up of predominantly Colombian expats. They're tied with 
LG QV with a 2-2 two two record, also with 6 points. Then Stadium 5, as we said, in 4th place in this... Or, excuse me, with 4 points in 6th place in this 8-team Canadian Corporate Soccer League Premiership Division. The Canadian Corporate Soccer League is, of course, the Canadian member of FIFCO, the International Federation of Corporate Football. Always a few interesting twists and turns to be had in the season, though. There's a good move outside for Keane. Ball forward, looking for control here. Now ball inside and played back. The Keane happy with their possession thus far, but they've conceded a foul. It's been really a tough start to the season for Sky. They have not been able to get anything going. They had an encouraging first half against Penetrators FC a few weeks ago, but that was more down to Penetrators being far from, I guess you could say, clinical in front of goal. As that ball is cleared away, they had so many chances and they just could not put them home. And there you see it inside of five minutes. Nothing doing between Sky and the Keen FC. They battle for it in the midfield here. And now shifting inside. Good opportunity to shoot. Sky still has the ball, trying to slice it through. But now the Keen touches it back. Trying to move it up the field. They weren't on their toes that time. And now it's out for the first corner kick of the game. As we said, it's two teams that are really struggling to find the back of the net. Sky hasn't scored yet this season, but here's an opportunity on a corner kick. A rarity for them. It's a low-line drive into the box. Touch takes them away from goal, and it's back out. Meanwhile, the Keen have not scored in three straight matches. But it's a good opportunity to snap that streak today. As we know, Sky have been, or have had some trouble keeping the ball out of their own goal. Sun's still in the sky, but it's an overcast day. It won't be causing too much trouble for either of the goalkeepers here. As this one's hooked forward to run onto, looks like the Keen is going to get there, but no, the goalkeeper's off his line very quickly. And that very well, well, definitely saved a breakaway and may very well have saved a goal. Ball down the line, onside, according to the official. Still waiting for some men to get into the box. He pulls it back, looking for a pass. It's flicked on. Now this one sliced through and put right back where it came from. Sky scooping it through, calls for offside. This one is good, apparently, as the man has it down by the byline, trying to play it in, but the ball is not nearly strong enough and intercepted. Now the Keen looking to move the ball up. And no one really able to control it. Here comes Sky looking to play through. There's a long drive just over the goal. Good move from Sky. They maneuvered it along and it was a good opportunity to get their first goal of the season.
ball down the line. The Keen have been playing that ball quite a bit today. Looking to use their pace, but at least the last time the goalkeeper was off his line and was able to intervene. A vital intervention. But this time he's blasted it out of bounds. This field a bit shorter than regulation. It's an American football layout. Only 100 yards long. Most fields in Canada are 110 yards long. And also it's slightly narrower than most fields. Turning inside and playing it through. There's a one-touch flick off. A player falls down, but the referee says play right on. And here comes the Keen on the counter again. Working it to this near side. A man making an overlap. They choose not to use him. And actually, it's because it's offside. Call made on the far side, and Sky transitions it quickly, but they'll get it right back. Wide open on the far side, but they play it through. It's a good ball. He's going to be able to keep it in. Uh, no, actually, no, he's not. Sky perhaps fortunate to get that offside call, and then they played it up quickly, looking for the counterattack. And it nearly worked out for them, but they weren't able to keep the ball in. This one's played through and is dealt with by the defense. Overhead kick back out, looking to play it inside. And this one's called back for a foul. Keen plays it quickly. 30 yards out, trying to dink the ball into the box, but it comes to naught. These two teams really, you'd have to think at the bottom, in the bottom tier of the skill level in this Premiership division. And that's been... And we're just going to set up for the goal kick here. That's been uh, evident through their results in the first handful of weeks. But looking up the table, there's some real skill in this division. Penetrators and FC Jazz are two real good teams. And you also have Peaky Blinders who can hold their own. And so it's going to be very interesting as we progress through the season. There's a relatively short season as well, as that's a through ball played down and uh, then taken away by the Keen FC. Usually the Premiership season slightly longer. This time it's only going to be a seven-game regular season. As Oh, I don't think either team is going to be happy with that call. It was certainly a foul by the Keen lunging in, but I think Sky would have wanted an advantage played as there was a ball into the box. The official just positioning the wall now, and here's a very good opportunity for Sky United FC to whip one into the box. There it is, a low delivery, easily dealt with, but only as far as that man right there. But 30 yards out here. And that one caught a hand, so another opportunity for Sky United. I must say the service off of their dead balls has been atrocious. Have to get some air under it. And they try to place this one into the box, just dropping it in there. 
Or is it an opportunity for a shot from 29 yards out? Right footer to take. He's going to try a shot. It made it through the wall, but then was blocked by that defender and has moved out. Two evenly matched teams, I've had to say. About 12 minutes in. Or just over, I guess a quarter of an hour in. So although they're at the bottom of their division, they're evenly matched tonight. And I think it could be a tight game down the stretch. And here's a nice ball outside using their width. A chance for the Keen FC cutting inside. Glorious opportunity. There's a great save by the goalkeeper. It's loose in the box and then cleared away, but still danger. The Keen can't pull off the shot. And it ricochets out for it looks like a corner kick. A really good opportunity there. Really an opportunity missed. If there was any kind of good finish there, it should have been one nothing for the Keen FC. But it was a nice save by the goalkeeper getting down in a hurry. And actually they're going to overturn the call and say that it was a in fact, a goal kick. But encouraging stuff from the Keen nonetheless. Both teams have had opportunities thus far in this game. This Sky team used to be so good in the Premiership division back when it was being run by Mike Tryan. Won the league a few times. They had some great players, including an ex-professional, Rada Aguram. And now here they come up the field. Trying to spray it out wide. There's a mistake. Can they take advantage of it, the Keen FC? Again, they get it wide. They're really spreading out Sky. There's a great ball across. Someone's got to be running onto that for the Keen FC. It's another good opportunity, but another opportunity wasted. Keen have been doing a really nice job spreading the ball to this near side. And Sky have not been able to stop them from doing so or thwart their attacks when they do that. So that's something that you'd have to think Keen will catch on to. And we'll keep trying to exploit. Still nil-nil. 17 minutes gone. Line drive kick up the field, headed down. it up now. Here comes the Keen FC trying to slide through, but it's nice defense from Sky United. Now moving it up quickly, Sky United. There's an early cross coming in, headed up rather than out. Put right back in and they'll hold it off for the keeper to come and grab. Now watch out, that keeper's got to be careful, and there was a Sky player lurking just behind him. Ball coming through. Another opportunity for Sky. This one blazed across. Bodies fly in the box. Looks like they'll actually keep it in on the far side. Or no, they, they did not. And it's going to be a throw-in, but another opportunity. Throw and taken on the far side by the Keen FC, and immediately it's turned over to Sky. This 
Sky looking for someone to make a run, and eventually they do. They loft this one towards the net, but it's well behind and out for a goal kick. Or actually, looks like it was a second consecutive foul throw. So now we get it back underway. There's a ball forward. Burst of pace here from the Keen FC as they cut into the box, moving it across off the head of the defender and over. Last ditch defending as the Keen was on the break. And there we saw a burst of speed. And if they're going to break through, you suspect it would be on the counter attack. Now they've got a corner, however. And can they break the deadlock? Can they get their first goal in some time? About three games without finding the back of the net. There's a corner looping in. Goalkeeper stays home. This one headed back down into the danger area. But now it's back out. Another crack at it, perhaps. He shoots. And oh, that one wasn't far away. It ends up dipping over the bar. And then just catching kind of the back of the net. So that one was very, very close off of the volley. An audacious effort that would have made the highlight reels. Quick sub being made by Sky United FC. We've seen in recent weeks they've just had a bare 11, so the fact they're able to get some fresh legs out there will probably help them as there's a nice ball up, but it's well intercepted by the Keen FC. We've often said that the biggest difference maker in the Premiership division is stamina, I guess you could say, and fitness, as there's a nice sunset going on just beyond the Keen FC goal. And teams look really sharp for the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but then it just comes down to who has the better conditioning, who has the better fitness, who can keep it going throughout the entire 90 minutes. The Keener hemmed in here, and now it's a left-footed ball over the top and out. There's another ball up, but certainly offside. And yep, there goes the flag. Guy waiting to get this one back going as they put it up. In some of the Sky United games, they've really struggled with maintaining possession off of goal kicks. They conceded a number against Penetrators FC when the game was still close, but they weren't able to maintain possession at all. Every goal kick was being turned over and then eventually... It got really ugly in that game. This one's out for, looks like, a corner kick. So another opportunity for Sky United. They'll move some men forward into the box. Here's a bullet corner kick to the top of the box. Controlled. Looking for an opening to shoot. Laying it off. There's a shot. Up high and gloved down by the goalkeeper. Well worked that time off the corner kick from Sky. They got the ball right where you want it, right at the top of the box. And it was a left-footed strike in. But the goalkeeper saw it all the way. Now the ball out of the range of our camera. And now it's back into view as it's moved forward. And it's a smart pass back to the goalkeeper. The Keen again looking to spread it wide here. They've got an option on this near side and they're going to use it. Ooh, goalkeeper. And now they've conceded a handball. Goalkeeper didn't do his, uh, his teammate any favors with that. Ball out. And now it's a free kick for Sky. After what they did on their last corner, they should probably 
Put it into the box again. Graham Naismith with you on the commentary from Collège Notre Dame in Montreal, Canada. The Canadian Corporate Soccer League. We are a Canadian member of Fifth Co, the International Federation of Corporate Football. There's a low free kick that will deflect off of a keen defender and back out. Sky's been giving as good as they've been getting. It's a pretty even game. And they'll play this corner short. There's a low cross and it's gathered by the goalkeeper. They're going to roll it out here. The Keen looking to build it from the back. And they've got a bit of an opening here. Dribbling right up the middle of the park. The Keen's still going. Look at them come down the field here. I think they're offside. And yes, they are. Sky holding a high back line and the Keen forwards got a bit too eager and jumped ahead. An interesting game nonetheless. Two teams that haven't really had close games in recent weeks. So we'll see how they can do when the when the pressure's on, when there's points for the taking here. <laughs> About 20 minutes from time. There's a misplay, and here comes the Keen FC. There's an option through the middle. That's where he was looking, but it's off a defender, and he's got it back. Moving it up to the top of the box. Great chance for a shot there, but they play it along. There's another opening. That one did a catch a hand. Goes over anyways. It's going to be sky ball one way or another, whether there was a handball or not, and that was a glorious opportunity for the Keen FC. They just moved it along the top of the box. And probably should have got something out of that one as there's a quick sub being made here. Ball again played in short, those new FIFA rules in effect. Nice ball down the line. Well controlled. Good opportunity there for a give and go, but it's turned over. Very calm play at the back by the center back. Ball down the line. They'll keep this one in bounds. Looking down the line again. Onside is the call. Playing it into the middle. Good football here from the Keen FC. And it was there for them if that man was making the run. But they weren't on the same page. Good idea from the midfield. This drop kick is high rather than far. That's going to be Keen ball. They'll just hold up here for a substitution to be made. About a half hour in. And now we're set to restart. And misplay there. It's going to roll. Good roll for Sky United. It's going to be a goal kick. We're about a third of the way through the game. And it's definitely there for the taking for either team. Anyone who wants to claim it as theirs.
Sky showing some good possession here, looking to break out. And it's out of bounds, and they'll take the throw. This one knocked into the middle. And I think they'll recycle it back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper up the middle of the field. This is good soccer from both teams, really. After we saw a real disjointed play from them through their first handful of games. And here comes Sky on the break once again. Options forward for him. Instead, he plays it back. No real support being offered right now. And it's well defended by the Keen FC. Looking through the middle. Good time to switch the ball, perhaps, but no real options out there. They've been doing a nice job of creating some width to this near side. There's a good ball forward, but it's cut out by Sky United and then put down the field. This one's sliced forward. Oh, and it's turned over in the midfield. This is a chance for Sky United, but it's gathered right back, and then a foul is conceded by Sky. Ball looking over the top. And again, it's taken down. No real chances to speak of in the past few moments. And I think the intensity of the game will pick up in the second half. I don't think either team's really going to run away with this one, or at least n neither team is deserving of running away with it. Then again, whoever takes advantage of their chances, you can't fault them for it. So I think this one's going to come down to the wire, and I think we're going to see a real exciting end to this game. Still a lot of soccer we played, though, at Collège Notre-Dame. The sun pretty much entirely set now. No wind to speak of. And good conditions under the lights here in early August. That's a nice switch of the ball. It's one thing to switch the ball, now you have to do something with it down this near side. And we've seen both teams, or the difference between both teams is when the Keen switches the ball, they then attack with some pace, they exploit the opening, and there we saw Sky switch it over and they didn't really do much with it. It's one thing to get the switch, but that's only half the battle. You then have to do something with it. Use the space you've created with your, for yourself. And there's a bump and a free kick coming up for the Keen FC. <coughs> They're setting it up 35 yards away. And they're going to play it quickly here. Smart play, breaking down the back line, but then it is recovered well. Sky United seemed to be arguing with the official about something, so the Keen played it quickly. A smart play, looking to catch them napping, but a couple of the defenders were ready for it, and they did their job well. Good throw it into the box, headed on. Again, the defender's there to answer the call. Now here's a turnover and a counter for Sky United FC. They've got three moving forward, but then it goes all wrong, and now the Keen can come back the other way. Here they come right down the middle, a hard player going back, trying that through ball. The goalkeeper's off his line and is able to gather. An exciting bit of action there as both teams look to break in. Thus far, every opportunity into the box has been met by a defender. There's been a defender there to answer the call. But you wonder if at one moment there won't be. About 10 minutes from the half. Still nothing doing. Between the Keen FC and White and Sky United in their green uniforms. 
Looking over the top again, a defender right there to deal with it. And that Sky player manages to keep it in. Nice effort to keep the play going. Looks like the Keen are just playing with two front men right now, or at least one man a bit higher than the other. And if they're going to break down Sky, they'll need to get their midfielders forward in a bit more of a hurry. There, now there's some options to move the ball forward. Some good width as well as they look to whip it in there. Well controlled from the penalty spot, it's blazed over. Well, it looks like it was offside anyways. Nice ball into the box, it was just... The attacker left a bit early. But as we said, at this level, it's down to usually who's the fitter team, who can get their midfielders up into the play and get them involved. This one blasted sky high. And the goalkeeper gathers it. Looking to transition to this near side. And... Asking for a handball, it is a handball that's called. <laughs> Neither team thrilled with the call as we look to get things started once more. Sky showing like they're going to put this one into the box. Quite a few men committed forward. And is there? Goalkeeper falls back to his line. It's loose at the side of the net. And the goalkeeper swoops over to get it. And blasts it up the field and well out of the reach of his teammates and well out of bounds. I believe the FC Jazz players and their supporters, they always have quite the supporter group out, are just below us right now. You can hear them as they'll be starting their game after the conclusion of this one. Jazz, as we said earlier, undefeated, perfect 4-0 record this season. And they've actually beaten both of the teams that are on the field right now, as have Penetrators FC, and I'd have to say, as we said, those are the those two teams are the class of this division. And when that's the case, the the minnows can't afford to drop any points against equal competition, and that's what we're seeing here. Two of the bottom tier teams, and neither wanting to leave with anything other than the maximum points in a game where they really should be earning maximum points. Two players fall down there. We'll see what the official claims here. And he does go in favor of the Keen FC. And we'll get a quick sub. We're actually no substitution happening. Uh, the building directly almost near the center line. They've got some lights on. I assume that's a stairwell. And I thought that was the referee's flag for a moment. Signaling a sub. But we'll continue with things. Long ball over the top. Running onto it here. The Keen get it, but then there's nowhere to go. Here's a foot race for it. No support being offered, and it's cost them. Here comes Sky United FC, putting it into the box. A defender chops at the ball. and But now here's another opportunity. Right in there, it was behind his teammate. And now the Keen looking to counter quickly. Casually flicked on using the bounce off of this field turf surface to move it forward, but then that was it for that attack. A 
Five minutes from the halftime break here in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League in Montreal, Canada. Here's an opportunity. He continues his run. Defender right on his back. And it looks like the defenders won it. Nice aggressive play. But then, not on the same page as his teammate at all. And here the, the official telling them about the uh, the new pace of play measures they put in is there was a substitution being made and the official wanted the keen player to leave the field at the nearest touch line, which is the rule, just to avoid running across the field and gets the play going quicker, but the keen player was adamant about running across, but uh, the officials definitely trying to enforce those new rules. Nothing to separate these two teams. And there's a foul for the push. And there you see Skye, some hands on the hips. It'd be really good if there was an option on this near side right now for his teammate, but they're starting to tire. And I think Keane has a couple of subs, and that could play a difference down the stretch, and especially if it's a close game in the last five minutes. If they got some fresh legs, could make the difference. There's a ball looking through, well-timed, poking it right on goal, and just the way the Sky players stopped running you'd think it would be offside and it is the official checking his watch about two minutes to time A powerful header from the back line. That one knocked along and passed back to the goalkeeper. Ball out wide, easily intercepted, and put back up the field. You wonder if the goal, should there be one, will come on a counter attack. As neither team has been too successful at breaking down the opposition recently. The keen to throw it in. This should be close to the last action of the opening 45. Fall back through the middle, but there's a Sky player right there to intercept. Nice defensive play right up to the forward. Couple of moves. There's an option through the middle, but they're not able to get it there. A Sky defense. Now they need an option wide, someone outside for this guy. Instead he's forced to play it through the middle. And just Sky's been struggling to get that width as they're breaking out. When you're breaking out you really need some wide players as... But here they come trying to play it through and they'll just shepherd it back to the keeper. There's a ball up the field. 
One last chance perhaps in this first half. It's a good ball right up the middle, but then it's knocked away. This one's back over the top, and I think both teams more or less wanting the, the halftime break here based on how many players are walking on the pitch right now. We'll have one last free kick in this first 45. And that will do it. Nothing to separate Sky United and the Keen FC through the first 45. We'll be back for the second half in just a moment. And we're underway for the second half at Collège Notre Dame. Ball over the top from the Keen FC as they look to get one right off the hop here, but that's easily handled by the goalkeeper. Keen FC in their white tops with black bottoms and socks. Moving from left to right, and Sky United in their green or blue tops moving the opposite direction no scores you can see after the first 45 some good chances though two very evenly matched teams and we've seen that a few times from the Keen FC offsides they're hurting themselves they actually had a good opportunity that was called back from an offside a couple of good opportunities in the first half These teams trying to ply their way out of the bottom of the league. Sky United yet to pick up points this season through their first four games, while the Keen FC just one victory to be had. As here comes Sky, but they're going to blow up and bring it back for a free kick. Both teams also looking to snap lengthy shutouts or goalish droughts. Sky have yet to score this season, while the Keen FC have not scored in three matches. They've not scored in nearly a month. If they don't score today, it will be over a month. This free kick from 36 yards away. We hear the FC Jazz players and supporters just below us. As they'll be playing just after this. There is the free kick. It's a floater and it goes well, well wide. Looking to transition quickly, the Keen FC. Sky doing their best to slow down that counter-attack opportunity. It really couldn't pick a winner after the first 45. There are two teams that are, as we said, evenly matched. This one could go either way. A couple of quality opportunities at both ends of the park. The Sky goalkeeper has been doing well to get off his line quickly and get to any through balls as there's a ball put into the box and I think Sky would have wanted to deal with that a bit better as they just directed out for a corner kick. Keen committing some players forward here. We'll see what they can do off the corner. They've got the slight height advantage. That's a good one into the back post. It was there for the taking. But instead, it's going to be a goal kick. This is the Premiership Division of the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. The Canadian member of FIFCO, the International Federation of Corporate Football. We're in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. As we said, at the nice facility at Cégep Notre Dame. There's another field just to the right behind the Sky United goal that's also used by the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. This one, of course, the pitch that's used for the, cho uh, the choice matches, I guess you could say. It's got a few stands, and as you can hear, there's some spectators out. Always some spectators out when FC Jazz play. They've got a great... Supporters contingent, Cafeteros as well. Cafeteros, as we mentioned earlier, sitting in a tie for fourth place. I think technically in fifth place. 
having played an extra match. And it's going to be a good battle down the stretch for those playoff spots here in the Premiership Division. And if either of these two teams on the field right now want to get into the playoffs, they'll have to make the most out of this opportunity. There's a ball moving in there. An authoritative header away, and then the secondary clearance is there as well. The Keen FC trying to cut inside, but they've given it away. That's a bad turnover. We'll see if Sky can do anything with it. Putting it over the top. They're onside, putting it into the middle. Bodies. Their players collide in there. The referee says he doesn't see anything, however, and he's signaling a corner kick. This official on the near side is... Uh... Now, I think the official saw what we were just pointing out where the two players collided in the box, and he wants a word now with the head official, who he's assuming missed it. Nice work by the officiating crew, making sure they have all their bases covered here, and we'll see if... I must say, I only saw it out of the corner of my eye. I just saw two players fall. It's either going to be... Well, it's either going to stay as a corner kick, which I think is most likely, or it could be perhaps a penalty, or even a free kick for the Keen FC. I think in that situation, though, the ball wasn't going into the box. It's not like he was directly impeded with, so I see no reason to overturn the call. And there you're reminded, a nil-nil scoreline. And we're set to go with this corner kick. Goalkeeper stays home. It's right there. Put over the goal. A glorious opportunity. It was great service. It was headed down and then hit on the volley over the goal. And now there's a player who is just being helped to his feet. It is going to be a goal kick. Ooh, that's certainly an early warning from Sky United FC. Keen have been pretty good with dealing with balls into their box, generally from set-piece situations today. But that time it was almost a free header. It was glanced down, and then there was, of course, the volley that was blazed over the goal from close range. Again, this is much like we've seen in the first half. Both teams with good possession going either way. Uh, that one, I th either went out of play or it's offside. They'll restart it again on the far side. As we said, these are teams that haven't really had close matches recently. The closest game that Sky United FC had score-wise was a 3-0 loss to Cafeteros on the opening night of the season. And then... Keen FC does have a victory to their credit. It was actually a 3-1 win against Cafeteros. So on paper, the Keen FC should be winning this game just based on those two results that we just mentioned. But I don't think there there's one team who would be favored to take this one, at least judging on the football we've seen on the pitch. The Keen FC also held penetrators to only two goals while... Montreal Penetrators beat Sky United 10-0. Faking the shot and putting it out wide. There's a ball into the box, but it's too close to the goalkeeper, and it's going to go out for a goal kick. Goalkeeper not taking his own goal kick. His defender steps in to take it, and that's some nice work by the Keen FC. This one poked out wide. Again, using the width of the field, that one sliced into the box. Out of the view of our camera, it looks like the goalkeeper was able to grab it. 
you saw there where the Sky United defender took the goal kick, and I'm not a big supporter of defenders stepping in to take the goal kicks because they really have to hustle back up the pitch, so they're going to be holding everyone on side. And you saw in that most recent goal kick, it was a nice one. It was sent up the field, but Keane got it right back, and they have the ball right now. They are going to try a shot. Not a bad idea. And following it in well is one of the forwards, but it's gathered by the keeper. And anyways, that defender who takes the goal kick really has to hustle up the pitch, as I said, or you're going to be holding everyone on side. And if something happens and it goes wayward, then your team's in trouble because the rest of your defenders who are holding the line are going to be caught napping, caught high and dry. Looks like an early substitution is being made, or they're just trying to find the ball. Five minutes gone in the second half, and actually I think they just gave it back after, uh, not sure what happened there on the far side quite frankly, but Sky United looking to break out with the ball in the 55th minute. In the Premiership Division, they should almost have ball runners or ball rollers like you see in all the professional matches just to get the balls all back in play quickly. I'm sure the guys don't want to be running after them all over the pitch. I coach a side of, and that's a foul throw, I coach a side of nine-year-old boys, and we certainly don't need them. The boys are always super eager to be running down the balls. It's a race to get one when it's a goal kick or something like that, but for these older guys, they... uh. No one wants to run to the other side of the pitch to get it. Keen looking to spread the play. There's options through the middle. And they've got the ball sliding it through. A good opportunity here. There's a shot. It's blocked by the defender. And then helped away. Still danger here. 30 yards out. Trying to spray it wide, but it's right to their opposite team stepping in here. Another opportunity for the Keen FC. Getting around one defender. Trying to cut to the byline. There's a low, slow cross that is pounced on by a Sky defender. And then they do well to keep it in and volley it further up the field. Certainly an opportunity there and some last ditch defending for Sky United FC. Here's another opportunity. Nice turn on the ball. Putting it out wide again. And then the defender closed him down well. An extremely even game. This is something to watch and a goal would really change the complexion of it. Looks like we've got a sub being made which explains the hold up. 13 minutes into the second half. Throw and goes in towards the box. Only Sky Defenders there. And the Keen watched this one roll out. Another corner kick for the Keen FC. We saw the Sky United most recent corner kick. Nearly found its way into the back of the net. We'll see what the Keen FC has here, trying to break the deadlock. In swinger with the left foot, hanging up there. It was, again, there for the taking. Nice service. It's going to end up in the hands of the goalkeeper. But some good service off of set pieces for both teams today. Rolling it through the middle. And I'm not sure what happened there to that Sky player. So again, we see FC Jazz just below us getting set, wearing their white and blue vertical stripes. They've bo beaten both of the teams that are on the pitch right now. Ball over the top. And yeah, he looked like he was going to be offside. Just broke in there 
had a bit too much of a lead. And the official, the assistant referee on this near side confirms it. And that pass wasn't intended for the player who ended up lunging for it. They would have been away. But here comes Sky, and that attack is stomped out. Now moving it up. Shifting it to the far side. Nice movement to get it back in support. They can switch it over to this near side again. And that's where they're looking with it. Nice play. Sky United really on their heels now, just defending in a block. This one moving down the line. Nice football. Ball put into the box. It's off the head of a keen player and out for a goal kick. Really, the biggest thing I think that the Keen FC are lacking right now is passing and moving, pass and movement. Sometimes we saw the ball being moved up the field, but then, you know, they get to the top and there's no other options. As soon as you give the ball away, you need to want it right back and ideally want it further up the field than from where you made that pass. And that's what makes Jazz, FC Jazz, so good and penetrators as well. They give the ball, but then they want it right back. You can see there's kind of a dark area on the pitch on the far side because of the trees and where the lights are positioned as Sky Knight trying to run down this ball but it's too far ahead. Again a reminder to check out the corporate soccer website as well as Pelloti.ca which has all the Results and schedules from the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. Ball in towards the penalty spot. Everyone misses it. And it's headed away. You can also try downloading the penalty app to keep track of all the fixtures in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. It's a new feature for the league this year. And it's been working pretty well thus far. Now here's a ball through. Getting to the byline, looking to kite across it. Ends up rolling out for a corner kick. We're in the 63rd minute now. Still plenty of opportunities to be had in this one, including this corner. Kind of coming out of the shadows right now on the far side. And that one ends up outside somehow with a goal kick. Our camera having a bit of trouble right now, picking up the action. And it's a goal kick. We can't really see what's going on.
Now they try to get it into the box. Here comes the Keen FC. And ends up rolling out for a goal kick somehow. Again, must say I didn't quite catch what was going on with that one. Twenty minutes into the second half, and neither team's taking control of this affair. Chances have uh, dried up in the last five minutes, at least. Ball now looking over, headed on, but again, no support up there for Sky United, so the Keen FC defenders have an easy job at it. Now this one's blowing down again. Uh, I, we're having a real hard time seeing what's actually going on on the far side. The Keen FC trying to move it quickly back up the field. Now that's where they need some width. They need some guys getting up there. A bit more energy on the field here. A lot of stationary players right now. The Keen trying to cut into the box. Instead, they'll play it back. There's a ball floated in. Ooh, missed by the defender. If he got a piece of that, it would have been... Very tough for the goalkeeper to handle, but he didn't. Now the goalkeeper sells his defender a bit short. And they'll pull this one back. Graham Naismith with you on Corporate Soccer TV. Sky United and the Keen FC going at it. Still a good 25 minutes left in this game. And we were talking about earlier, the biggest difference maker in this division is fitness and who can keep the energy up throughout the game. And I think we're seeing it here where both of these teams' energy is... Or the, the energy of both of the teams is really dipping. And right now against a stronger team like FC Jazz or Peaky Blinders or Montreal Penetrators, it would really be an opportunity for them to pounce. Here's an opportunity to put the ball up the field for Sky United FC. High ball put in there off the head of a keen defender. And then a first touch ball. Don't think that's what he quite wanted to do with it. And they'll be able to get it away. Now on the counter, the keen FC cutting inside. Still going with it. Cutting around the defender. Here he goes right in on goal. It's blazed across the face of goal. Goalkeeper never got a piece to it because they're signaling a goal kick. But... A chance out of nothing. And a good opportunity at that. It was a long dribble around the edge. But the goalkeeper cut it down. I believe this is Cafetero FC that is getting ready just to our right in their white uniforms so they'll be playing FC Jazz next they'll be in tough in that match as Sky United gets us restarted that ball bounces out harmly and it's going to be a throw in but they'll make a quick substitution first
Smart play there, but a really good slide tackle to break that one up. Slide tackles are permitted in the Premiership Division, of course. And here they come back the other way. Sky United trying to cut inside. It's out of the view of our camera right now. And it looks like the Keen got it back somehow. Playing it through the middle. Again, they need some width. That's where they're looking outside. And now trying a left-footed shot. Well, wide of the goal. About to enter the 70th minute, and we're still looking for our first goal in this one. Very rarely do you see a scoreless draw in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. That just means that these two teams are evenly matched, as we keep saying. Nothing to separate them on the field or on the scoreboard. Now turning. Here comes Sky United to the outside, looking for an option. Playing it back. There's some pressure being put on. And he lays it off calmly, working with the center back. Now a ball in there. No one really to run onto it, and it bounces to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper with a nice kick, well up over the halfway line. Referee jumps out of the way. And that one's turned over. Ball thrown in. Nice throw in to run onto, but then it's out for a corner kick. Still nil nil between Sky and Keane. Here is that corner kick. It's a low one. Hits something on its way through. And Sky can try to dribble away. But oh no, it's taken back by the Keen FC. There's a shot right into the hands of the goalkeeper. Another opportunity, but there wasn't nearly enough power behind it. ball at the field, caught a hand. So King can set up a free kick. Ball just behind the 35-yard line. And we'll see what they can do. If they play it outside here, 33's got some good space to run into. Low one, well cleared away. They'll get another crack at it as they play it through the middle. Stepping outside. There's a ball in. Keeper stays home and then it's put away by Sky. And that ball off the back of a keen player and out. Ball to the outside. Sky trying to counter-attack. They haven't had an opportunity in a few minutes, and now not sure what's going on over there. By the way, they're setting up. It looks like it's a corner kick. Their last corner kick was a good one. Nearly found the back of the net. Thank you. 
Right footer sliced in. Again, it was hanging up there, but it's put back out. Here's another chance at it, and it's cleared away. Now a bit of pressure here on the Keen FC defense. That could be a bad turnover if Sky can control it. They're fouled from behind. And now this is going to be an interesting opportunity. Twenty-two yards away. Perfect opportunity to try a shot. Official just setting up a wall. Sky United still looking for their first goal on the season. And with 15 minutes to go in this game, this is a really good opportunity to get it. So here we go. Three-man wall. It ends up hitting that wall. Now left footer... In towards the box, it's headed away by the Keen FC. Ball helped along. Here comes Sky United now. Looking through the middle. It ends up with the goalkeeper. Ball up the line, offside is signaled once again. Still about 12 minutes for these teams to try to take advantage of this opportunity. They may not be in a position to win too many more matches this season based on their recent stretch of play, and the regular season after this game is going to be half over for them. More than half over, even. Guy all over that man as he was trying to dribble into the box. Now he falls down. Referee says play right on. And they cleared away. Ball thrown in quickly. Man loose through the middle, it's just out of his reach. Both of these teams seem to be just a step behind today. And that could be why this game ends in a scoreless draw. A foul there as the keen player bundled through the back of the Sky Defender. That's really not a great stretch of play here. And it's out of bounds. First touch is something, the, the easiest skill, the first skill they teach you, and it's amazing the... That's really what separates a passable player from a player who's not very useful to his team. That first touch, getting it under control, being calm on the ball.
Nice battle for it there. Just about 10 minutes to go in this one as this is sprung outside, but now both teams really out of gas. And it's out of bounds. Fitness taking a serious dip here, and you wonder how many opportunities are left in this one. Ball put down the line. And going back the other way. Well, I think the conclusion we can draw here is neither team deserve to lose this one, but I don't think either team really deserve to win either. There's still 10 minutes to go. We'll see if there's a late change in that narrative. Keen gets the ball back in the sky box, but they're all over him. It's over the top, over the goalkeeper, but then the defender is right there to pass it away. Sky trying to transition quickly up the field. Putting it to this near side. Nice touch around the defender. But then it's turned over. Now there's an opening for the Keen FC. They're on side, but then he... guess he didn't think he was going to be able to get to it. Fitness almost non-existent now, and this is going to be a long last eight minutes here. Both teams just completely out of gas. Almost everybody's stationary on the field, but here's a run now, and that defender's still got some energy as he slips in there and takes the ball away. Now looking to get up the field. Falls down, they'll get a throw-in out of it. And another, another foul throw. I think we've got about a, at least a half dozen foul throws in this game. And just no one there for Sky as this one rolls through. Then again, all is not lost for Sky in this one. It will be their first point of the season if they're able to hang on here for a scoreless draw. Probably not the way they intended to get their first point of the season, but nonetheless, they could use it. Ball ricocheting up the field, and out for a throw in.
Goalkeeper's off his line. He shoves the keen player, and then it's just knocked out. The goalkeepers have been good when called upon today. They've commanded their box well. And now there's a player doubled over. Every Canadian Corporate Soccer League match has a physio or a first responder on hand. Doesn't look like they'll have to come on the field this time as the player gets to his feet. And after all, there is a free kick for his team. So he'll want to get in there and try to break the deadlock. Sky's still looking for their first goal of the season. There's the delivery. It's a hard ball across the face of goal. And again, more players complaining to the referee than actually making an attempt on the ball. Ball of field on side. Overlap being made, but they put it through the middle. It's off of a sky defender. Now controlled down by the midfielder. Put up the field. A chance here. And the defender got there ahead and uh, opportunity wasted. Three minutes to go. Do either of them have enough left in them to make a go of it? Here comes the Keen FC moving gingerly up the field. Moving it back and they string together some passes here. Slipping it through, touching it to the outside. Here's there's something cooking for the Keen FC to the top of the box, a shot. Not close and out for a goal kick. I think we're going to have one last minute sub here. Headed on. Here comes Sky United FC, but it's a nice slide tackle to halt that attack. They're bringing someone forward here. Is it a long throw in specialist to try to put it into the box? A good cross. Didn't make it past the first defender. Out in the midfield. There's a burst of pace up the field. Here comes the Keen FC. One final opportunity maybe. They cut inside. Laying it off. A last gasp opportunity. The shot. Parried away by the goalkeeper. Keeper solid when called upon, but now there's a corner. 
Again, a last gasp opportunity here in the final minute. The Keen FC trying to get maximum points out of this game. Ball hanging up there. That's trouble, but the goalkeeper's up to claim it. And he ends up rolling over the attacker. He's going to throw it out. But now they've given it away. Here comes the Keen FC again. They're certainly finishing the match the stronger of the two teams. Playing it through. Is he offside? Yes, he is. How many times has that happened? We're in what little added time there is right now. Here comes the Keen. One last opportunity. Trying to lay it through. Ball going through. Goalkeeper off his line. He grabs it and that should be the last action of this game. Neither team deserved to lose that one, but I don't think either team deserved to win either as it's a nil-nil draw between Sky United FC and the Keen FC. Thank you very much for joining us on Corporate Soccer TV.